For vehicles with wheels and dual wheels, all of the general cleaning instructions apply for removing dirt, mud, plant and tree debris and seeds. If the vehicle has a cab, make sure to clean it out thoroughly, including any floor mats. Special attention should be directed at dual tires. Whenever possible, store the necessary cleaning tools on each vehicle so they are available anytime cleaning is needed. Stiff brushes, a screwdriver, a narrow shovel, a hoe, a pick, and a hand edger tool are all useful tools for dislodging sources of terrestrial invasive species when cleaning a vehicle. A narrow rod can be helpful in removing plants and dirt in tight places, such as between dual tires. A leaf blower or an air hose using pressure from the vehicle's air brakes can be good for cleaning off dry material. Sometimes the best cleaning method is to simply run the vehicle through a car wash. There are special areas to check and clean on tractors. The radiator screens typically attract a lot of seeds, which need to be removed. Seeds can also get trapped between tractor weights, behind the retaining bar, and inside of wheels. Sometimes you may need to disassemble components in order to fully clean them. You can use water from top to bottom to clean a tractor, but some parts can be damaged if you use a high pressure water spray. Be sure to check the underside because it can get caked with mud and debris if you're working in wet or muddy areas. If a riding mower is used at only one location, then cleaning is not needed to prevent the spread of invasive species. But for mowers that are moved between many sites or mow long stretches of roadside, there is a high risk of spreading invasive species. Sometimes extra cleaning should be done at a single site. If the mowing includes a patch of invasive plants, the operator should clean the mower after cutting the patch to prevent further spread of the invasive species. Mowing trails presents the same concern for carrying terrestrial invasive species the length of a trail. If operators have maps of invasive species locations or can recognize the invasive plant, then they can stop and clean off plants and seeds that could spread the infestation. The alternative is to stop regularly for cleaning, such as every mile. Using the recommendations from the Minnesota Department of Transportation on the times to mow different species can help you avoid mowing when the spread of infestation is most likely. Mowers have a lot of places for seeds and plant debris to hitch a ride. Damp plant material and dirt can collect on the underside of the blade shields. Grass and plant stems can wrap around pulleys. Seeds and plants can collect under the seat, on the mower deck, under guards and covers, in the front engine grill, and in the air filter. Cleaning the mower with hand tools first can get rid of most of the mud, soil, and plant material. A hand wrench may be needed to remove guards and covers to reach all debris. If the invasive debris is easily spread, you may want to carry a plastic bag to contain it as you remove it. Use a power washer, leaf blower, or air pressure to clean the mower thoroughly when possible. Fire engines and other fire response vehicles can present special problems for spreading invasive species because of the emergency nature of their work. There's not always time to clean when leaving a site. The risks of the fire are simply greater than the risks of spreading invasive species. But not every move to a new site is urgent, so some basic cleaning is possible. Carrying a boot brush and a tire brush can make it possible to remove mud, dirt, and plants picked up at an off-road site. A brush can also be used to clean the grill, bumpers, wheel wells, truck bed, and the undercarriage. If your vehicle has water and a hose on board, you can use water pressure to clean the truck, if approved by the fire leader. Certainly, fire response vehicles and slip-on pump units can be fully cleaned when they return to their home bases to keep from spreading invasive species on their next fire run.
In the case of prescribed burns, the burn plan should include measures to prevent moving invasive species. The routes for vehicles should be planned ahead of time to minimize plant and soil disturbances. Arrange for the needed cleaning tools to be on hand. If possible, in non-emergency jobs, Park the truck on pavement and walk to the site in order to minimize disturbances that could move invasive species. For equipment that is moved constantly, such as mowers, sprayers, seeders and planters, it may not always be feasible to do a thorough cleaning before moving to a new site. Clean as much as circumstances allow before leaving each site. In non-emergency situations, if a lack of time is a reason why cleaning isn't feasible, then you should replan your work schedules to allow for the necessary cleaning time. Planters and seeders are an example of movable equipment that has a high risk of spreading invasive species. Because they are often operated on sites that are being restored to native plants, there may be a substantial seed bank of invasive plants in the soil. Their wheels and seed drill parts can become packed with that dirt. In addition to hand cleaning, air pressure can clean around seed boxes and delivery tubes. Water can be used to clean the wheels, cutters, and other parts below the seed boxes. When cleaning discs on planting equipment with hydraulic components, the components should be cleaned in the up position with the discs in the air where there will be less splashback on the equipment. <laughs> 